thanks for talking to us. It's um, Cheltenham tomorrow. How are you and the lads heading into that one? Yeah, all good. Obviously, confidence boost getting the win on Tuesday. Um, obviously, after a little while without picking up a win. So, back to winning ways and uh, looking forward to the game. Um, test ourselves again against one of the one of the top sides in the league. So, uh, we can't wait, really. Yeah, real tough battling performance on Tuesday night, but we got on just rewards. The lads were actually yeah, brilliant out there. Yeah, definitely. I think um, sometimes when you go on a little run where you're not winning, you just kind of go back to basics and kind of play to your strengths and, and use what we've got in our in our armoury to kind of cause problems for teams. And I think we've done that really well, uh, defended really well, but obviously attacked uh, at times uh, with pace like we can and uh, caused them some issues and got the goals at, at good times. And um, it was a good victory in the end. Yeah, you mentioned obviously playing one of the top sides in the league tomorrow, but we've got fantastic form against the top sides in the league. You know, we've been to places like Bolton away, Forest Green away, picked up victories. We know our home form is quite impressive. There's lots of confidence to take into tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I think it's been a bit of a strange one in terms of obviously beating a lot of the top sides and then kind of uh, not managing to get the results that we would want against the teams below us. So um, obviously we've got to use that now at this stage of the season uh, with playing a lot of teams that are above us in our last five. So, um, yeah, we use that, take confidence from it. Um, obviously, something going forward, um, possibly next season, something we need to work on in terms of picking up points with teams below us. But we'll certainly use that as a uh, as a confidence boost going into the last five games. We've seen a great dynamic in the field, and for most of the season, it's been you and Jake. Obviously, Josh has, Josh has come into the side now after January, but it's been great to see you guys working as a three, sometimes working as a two. It's nice to see them. It's healthy competition, is it, I suppose? Yeah, definitely. I think that kind of... Um, we had some competition, obviously, earlier on in the season, and then eventually you kind of find, you find your feet and, uh, and the team gets picked accordingly. Uh, so me and Jacob obviously played a lot of games together. And obviously, like you say, Josh was brought in and uh, we've got some competition uh, from January. Um, and then, like, yeah, recently, obviously, we've all kind of played together. Um, either of us have had like a little rest in the last couple of games or whatever because we've played a lot of games. And uh, it seems to, to work quite well, to be fair. So hopefully we can kind of rotate it like we have and uh, get, get the best out of all three of us. Yeah, you mentioned there a lot of games. It's been absolutely manic this season, but it's sort of finally starting to sort of wind down. There's only five games left, and I suppose it's just a case now of picking up as many points as we can, taking in that confidence and seeing where we end up at the end of it, I suppose. Yeah, we were talking about the running earlier between a few of the lads and uh, just saying, I think, like, is it the last two games of the season we actually have no midweek game, I think. I think so, yeah. um, And I was, I was surprised. Like, I just, you just expect that there's going to be Tuesday games coming. Um, but obviously, with only five to go, like, start spreading out again. Um, but yeah, we'll just finish as strong as, strong as we can, um, still with obviously a glimmer of hope. So um, if we can keep putting uh, the wins the wins on the table and uh, put a few together, you just you just never know where you're going to be. I think teams start feeling the pressure um, and there's going to be slip ups along the way from, from other sides as well. And, and you've seen that probably in recent weeks where you'd expect teams to win and uh, maybe winning games they wouldn't expect to win and then and losing games they wouldn't expect to lose. So. Um, I think it's wide open at the minute. Uh, we've just got to worry about ourselves, uh, put the wins together and see, see where we go. You know, obviously we've mentioned some of the top sides that we're playing in there. We've beaten, we've got the chance to do people like Forest Green, we do, we've got the chance to do the double over them, we've got the chance to do the double over Bolton. It's just some really exciting games to end the season on. Yeah, definitely, exactly. Um, we went there and uh, we deserve to win them games, uh, Forest Green and Bolton. Um, so they'll be knowing that they're going to be in for a game when they play against us. So. Um, nothing's a given, uh, especially in this league, especially the way it's been this season. Um, you see that again, obviously Bradford playing well and we've gone there and beat them. So uh, we're capable of anything within the squad like on our day when we're playing well and uh, uh, we'll hope to get some more wins as the season comes to an end. Thanks, Jack.